If you express an interest in doing archery at the Involvement Fair, please check your email for a message from Mr. Elliot. Practices will begin shortly, and we need to get an accurate roaster. If you have any questions, please contact Mr. Elliot. Next week is DECA week. On Monday at 7.45 a.m., there will be a DECA membership meeting in Keel's room. It is also PJ Day, so dress up in your favorite pajamas. Also, the DECA diamond hunt will be going on, and the DECA logo will be on little sheets of paper and will be hidden around the school. If you find one, bring the little piece of paper to the teepee. It is good for 50 cents towards your purchase. The Indian football team travels to Fairmont, Indiana to take on the Madison Grant Argyles in the second round of sectionals. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. You can watch the game on KISS TV's Facebook page, live stream, or KISS TV 5. Good luck to the Indians. Celebrating birthdays today is Payne Abel, and on Sunday, Peter, Lil Sauce, Socola. Happy birthday! For lunch on Monday, we are having pizza, buttered carrots, broccoli with cheese, pineapple, peaches, and most of all, milk. If you express an interest in doing archery at the Involvement Fair, please check your email for a message from Mr. Elliot. Practices will begin shortly, and we need to get an accurate roaster. If you have any questions, please contact Mr. Elliot. Science! Oh, oh, oh. Good morning, or good afternoon to Northside. Union City High School, maybe people in Brazil, or Winchester, whoever's watching today. Another Freaky Friday demonstration coming your way. We have something unique. It takes a little background to understand what's going on. And I think you're going to enjoy this when it's all said and done. Some of my favorite people here at school are the custodians. I know Scott and Mike and James. They help me out a lot. And in autumn time, when the leaves come falling down and the rain falls down on the leaves, there's a special a liquid that gets absorbed into the sewer lines and into the ground and stuff. And there are some creatures in the sewer lines that actually develop and they're called sewer lice. Well, the sewer lice are always found toward the tail end of the pipes at a high school when they're before they get to uh, flow out toward the uh, water treatment plant. And they're interesting. I like kids to see the sewer lice and then identify what they noticed about them to see if they're living or actually non-living creatures. And we did this today in class and had some really interesting responses. Um, I want you to take a close look at the sewer lice that we've collected to see if you can predict what is going to happen here in this event, okay? They're sensitive to the light, so I've got my lovely Mickey Mouse hat over it. I'm gonna pull this off. And James Lewis and Scott and Mike, they got me some of these things and if you look really closely down into the container, you can see that these creatures actually, they'll respond to the environment. And when I say respond to the environment, you can see them moving, they'll drop down, they'll respond, they'll breathe, they'll collect the oxygen in the water, then they'll dispel it. And as they're moving up and down, they're technically supposed to be, according to people I've talked with, cleaning the water system. So when they catch these sewer lice, and they only get to do it a short period of time each year, and bring it to me, that's really a good sign that the uh, water in the pipes is actually being filtered somewhat by the microorganisms and the small invertebrate creatures that we have here. So what I like to ask kids is, how do we know these are living creatures? Well, a couple of days ago, we started with just two or three we now have one, two, three, four, five, we have seven sewer lice in there. They're moving, so they're, they're reacting to the environment. Uh, they're breathing, they're giving off some gases, absorbing and giving off gases. So we would say they're creatures that are actually existing. And you can see how they're moving up and down. They're pretty active right now. They don't tend to like the light very well. Then the other way, you can actually identify things by maybe if you smell something, think, well, that's kind of nasty. Or if I were to actually touch that liquid and if I felt a slippery feel, it would be a base. Or if it was a squeaky feel on my fingers, it would be an acid. You can tell it that way as well. Well, the interesting thing is, when Mike and I were talking, he said, 
the water where the sewer lights are located is supposed to be so clean that as it goes on out from the school that it's actually able to drink it. And I thought, you know what? I don't think I could do that. The sewer lights are pretty interesting things. I like the idea, and I, it's interesting, and my kids in class liked it too. But if you're able to drink it, I just don't want to get sick. I'm thinking, hmm, would you want to taste that or not? And I thought about it, thought about it, and I said, I finally decided, I think I'm going to taste it just in case and see what it tastes like. If it tastes really bad, I'm going to throw up. If it doesn't taste too bad, I'll let you know what it tastes like. So we've got sewer lights for you guys to look at. And I'm going to taste it. I got one stuck in my mouth. That's gross. Now, if you just got grossed out over me drinking some sewer lights, let me revisit with what this actually is. This is Sprite, a little bit of yellow food coloring, and I have some small pieces of chopped up raisin that drops into there. And so as they sink to the bottom, they collect the carbonation on the outside of it. They flow to the top, they pop, and they sink back down. So what I actually did, I tested my sixth grade kids to see if they could figure out if these were living or non-living creatures. And believe it or not, all three of my sixth grade classes thought those were living creatures, and you should have seen the reaction I got out of them when I actually tasted the liquid. It's not sewer water or sewer lice at all, but they thought it was, and we had a good practical joke on Halloween. Happy Halloween. Hope you guys have a great day. Now you know a little bit more about predicting, comparing, and contrasting, and deductive reasoning that uh, this really isn't what you think it is. You guys have a great day.